What's going on everyone? I am Zipping Meteor. Welcome back to another early build. Let's play. This time we got a special one. I have been given access to the prototype of Choice Chamber. Now if you don't know what this game is, shame on you. Seriously. Choice Chamber is basically the idea of Twitch Plays Pokemon only brought to a different sort of game. By that I mean everyone in the chat is able to actually interact and control what is happening on the game. Weapons, enemies, level size, various things like that. Now, I'm currently playing this offline because I plan to stream tomorrow as of this recording. So I have set the... See, there's my Twitch username. I have set the poll duration to a smaller amount of time so that it will be more interesting for this particular video. When I stream, it will probably be at 60 seconds. Probably. If you are interested in supporting the game, you can do so at choicechamber.com. I will also provide a link in the description down below to Choice Chamber's website, the Kickstarter, Twitter, anything else I can possibly find. So without further ado, let's go ahead and play a little bit of Choice Chamber. first poll it's going to bring up is related to the weapon, and in about 30 seconds, or 20 seconds, it will change the weapon. The sword is from the first playthrough I actually did of the game. Oh, you do die in one hit, at least as of right now. Okay, second poll, let's improve that jump. Higher, double, or pogo. I hope it doesn't give me pogo. Come on, enemies. You're no threat. Now, this is a game that I've backed on Kickstarter, but. Ooh, I got a hammer. Oh, slow but powerful. I backed it on Kickstarter with the intention of streaming it when it does. Dang it. When it does get funded. Oh. Keep in mind, this is only the second time I've played this game. I have no doubt in my mind that this game will get funded. And look how popular. Oh, I don't like the hammer how popular Twitch plays Pokemon was, and still is, I think. I don't like this hammer. It's slow, cumbersome. Don't like the hammer. It's very, very difficult to use. wonder if that makes the attack stronger if you hold down the button. Ooh, there's a shockwave effect. That's nice. Come on, get closer. I'm trying to let the timer wear down so that I can get a different weapon. Hopefully it gives us a different weapon. Yes, I will gladly take the bow. It's a weaker weapon, but it's faster and... That's definitely what I needed. Full Mojo Rampage. 
like the Tele Glitch, I like Risk of Rain, I like all those games. I like games that have high risk and sometimes even higher reward. What do I get? High jump. Excellent. I definitely like the bow a lot more than my hair. Notice that here, I think I'm actually sliding out of frame. Let me just I'm gonna adjust my camera a little bit. There we go. I haven't used my camera in a, quite a while. What do I get this time? More crits. You're even more likely to do something amazing today. Oh, gotta watch out for those things. see that and think, oh, time to troll. 
And I can't really blame him. Chamber.com, as well as any other links I include in the description down below. Help support this game on Kickstarter, help it get made, so that we can watch all the funny videos on YouTube and all the Twitch streamers get trolled by the chat. Come on, when you like to see Man vs. Game and Level 21 and any other big streamers actually get trolled on a more polished version of this game. I know I would. I don't want the hammer. The game's a troll too. I don't want this hammer. <sighs> I have no idea how long I've even been playing, but I know I'm getting trolled like crazy by the game. There's gotta be some trick with this hammer to make it better. Ah, uh, jumping, that's the trick. It swings faster if you jump. Come on, I know how to use this thing now. Get down here. use that phrase. Yeah, I'll just smash your head in. That'll work. Got me a sword. say it right now. When I'm done recording this, I'm going to go increase my pledge on Choice Chamber. I want to see this game get made. I want... I want this game to be like a regular game I play on YouTube. Or a regular game I stream on Twitch and then... I don't know. Transfer over to YouTube. So I'll always be a YouTuber first. Unless for some reason my Twitch channel decides to blow up in popularity. Not likely. Not because I don't think I can get popular on Twitch, but more because my internet sucks. And if you've ever seen me try to stream like on the GT Connection Twitch channel, then you would know how bad my internet is. How many times I tried to stream, I don't know, PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale on multiplayer? Couldn't even get into more than one game. Tiny enemies, watch those ankles, okay. I don't have to worry about any of them. Didn't turn around in time. Come on. I'll just let him come to me. but I don't have to watch my ankles get, get down here. Okay, the next one's gonna upgrade my weapon. And then I get different sized rooms. I am not ready to die. this 
this little pole decided to end so that I can get more things, I think, in the next room. At least I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yes. More crits. Rooms are now bigger. Excellent. I say that, but I don't really know how much. How good that's going to be for me. I will gladly take that one up. Because I definitely need it. Ow. One more time. Again, guys, don't forget to go to choicechamber.com as well as the Kickstarter and any other links I include in the description down below. Help support this game. Help it get made. It is definitely addicting, and I can definitely see myself enjoying this on Twitch if it runs well on Twitch when I attempt to stream more. to jump over that ledge. Actually, I read an update that they are supposed to jump over that ledge, but they're... I guess a bug in the code would causing them to be less than intelligent creatures. Oh, come on, I hit him. That one I deserved. I'm gonna let this pull finish so that I can get something else. Hopefully not that that horrible pogo jump. We got a bow and a double jump. Oh, well, that'll be a nice combo. I do like the bow. I always tend to play a ranged character when I'm given the option. Fighting games, dungeon crawlers, I always go with the mage. Or any character that can attack from a distance, really. Back all three of them. 
No, I don't think so. And we get... Rooms are now bigger. Give me an elemental effect, come on. There we go. Fire, ice. Oh, please don't pick none. Let's 
seen that one on other Twitch videos. Okay, we're gonna look at those poles. So you're not really much of a threat if you can't come out of that hole. I can just sit here and just keep stabbing you in the head with arrows. Rooms are now bigger. I got a high jump instead of a double jump. Warp 20 rooms, oh. Ooh. If the difficulty gets higher as the levels, oh.
gonna be the room I die in. This is gonna be the room I die in. Tell me. It's too many enemies. Not a bad one. Alright guys, just one more time, that was Choice Chamber. You can check it out at choicechamber.com or any of the links I include in the description down below. Spread the word guys, help get this game made. I would love to see it become more than just a prototype. Thanks for watching guys, I am Zipping Meteor. Be sure to check out my Twitch channel tomorrow. I'm gonna no, check out my Twitch channel later today. I'm going to post this video fairly soon after I edit it. So, Saturday. It is, I believe, twitch.tv slash Zipping Meteor, I think. Go check it out. I'll stream tomorrow and you'll see more of this game and be able to actually interact with me live. And possibly be the bearer of my demise, I guess. Thanks for watching, guys. I am Zipping Meteor. I will see you next time. Later.